Vertigo refers to an illusion of motion and spinning in the absence of true motion. Vertigo is a major health problem with a lifetime prevalence of 30% worldwide. Vestibular vertigo occurs due to dysfunction in the vestibular system which includes central part in the brain vestibular nuclei and peripheral part in the inner ear. Pharmacological treatment of vertigo includes Vestibular suppressants which encompass first-generation antihistamines like diphenhydramine and meclizine in addition to benzodiazepines. Other treatment alternative is cinerazine which is vasodilator calcium channel blocker and antihistamine. Vestibular suppressants including antihistamines like diphenhydramine and meclizine in addition to benzodiazepines should be used only for short term because of their drawbacks. Vestibular suppressants have the potential for significant drawbacks of drowsiness, cognitive deficits, and interference with driving and operating machinery. There are other potential harmful side effects of vestibular suppressants as they interfere with central compensation of vestibular injury and cause delay of its recovery. There is a solution though. Betahistine with trade name Betaserts is the only anti-vertigo drug that treats the underlying cause of vertigo via dual mode of action. Beta-histine acts centrally through the H3 antagonist action that leads to the release of histamine and other neurotransmitters. The released histamine and other neurotransmitters downregulate the firing activities at the level of vestibular nuclei. This central action of beta-histine is responsible for the rapid symptomatic relief of vertigo and associated symptoms like dizziness and tinnitus. Beta-histine acts peripherally via the H1 agonist action, therefore, improves the blood flow and circulation inside the inner ear. This peripheral action of beta-histine is responsible for the prophylactic effect against the risk of vertigo attacks.